Hello, in this video, I am going to talk more about the echo command. So the echo command basically just prints out something to your terminal. Echo is used in other languages as well, such as PHP. So if you come from a PHP background, you'll feel right at home. Okay, so if I was to just run this, as you can expect, this says hello world. And let's say if I duplicate this line, and I'm gonna say second line. So second line, save it, run it, so we get second line. So it has a new line character at the end automatically. So that's just something to bear in mind, it will go into another line. If you didn't want you know a new line character, what you can do is if I put dash n here. And watch what happened now. There is no new line character. So the dash n basically says get rid of the new line character, which is def added by default, which in, ma in many other languages is a backslash n. So by default, the new line character is added. So the next part goes to, well, the, the next line. If you want to override that, you can override it with, you know, dash n. Okay, so my, imagine if we wanted to do that, and maybe we have some sort of conditional statement we'll cover, you know, if statements in a separate video. And depending on what if statement you've got into, you may or may not have a echo command that has a new line character or not. So if you want to put a new line, you put backslash n, save that, and we run it, and we literally just get the backslash n in there. So what we need to do is essentially terminate or remove these special characters, these backslash characters. We can do that by at the start print dash e. And now if we run it, it goes through the line, which is this one here. It recognizes any of these backslash characters, and backslash n is new line. You can also put backslash t. So backslash T is tab. So tab, backslash T doesn't appear, but the actual command of it moving it does. And apart from that, there's not really much else that you need to know regarding the echo command. You can obviously add variables to it, which I will be covering in a separate video. So do not worry. So what happens if I was to, let's just say, put some random text outside here. Let's take a look. So it just puts H-U-H. -H. So it literally just puts what is there. This just allows a bit of extra formatting with the special characters, etc. So it's best to put them in quotation marks. You can use single quotation marks as well if you wanted to. And uh, what about if I wanted to put a quotation mark actually inside you just put a backslash and that will allow you to put it in there so that is the echo command if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video